Hey, here back again, MIAA fans with Clarence Iba, former Pittsburgh State University head men's basketball coach, inducted into the Hall of Fame tonight here in Kansas City at the MIAA awards ceremony. Congratulations to you, Coach. Thank you very much. It's a great honor. Now, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the MIAA, such a great conference, of course, we believe it is here at the MIAA, but to be inducted into this Hall of Fame, what does that mean to you? Well, it's obviously an honor, a great honor, uh, but in my case, and I just said this out there, uh, it came completely out of the blue. I had no idea that, that it would happen, so it had more ring to it when it, when it hit me. But uh, when I had a chance to sit down and look into uh, the, the Hall of Fame uh, by way of, of uh, a computer, I found out there were two categories. There were the present categories and then the, the old guys, the legacy. <laughs> I was a little worried about that at the time. I'm afraid I was going in that old guy group. But um, I looked over those older guys, and, and uh, I'm, I've been around basketball since I was very, very small, and I knew a lot of those guys. That group of people changed basketball the way it was thought of in this area, changed basketball the way it was played, and then changed it around the country and in some cases all over the world. So if you want to know whether the MIAA basketball coaches have had an effect, they've had an effect all the way to Russia and all the way to, to Spain and, and all over the place. Current head basketball coach at Pittsburgh State, Kim Anderson, in attendance here tonight. An interesting little note is that you hired him as an assistant coach at Baylor when you were head coach down there. And just talk to us about being the coach there at Baylor and also getting Kim on staff. Well, it was pretty easy to hire Kim. I had, in fact, I had come pretty close to hiring someone else. And, <laughs> and Norm Stewart called me, and I've known Norm since I was a kid. And uh, he said, hey, I've got your new assistant for you. And I said, Norm, I'm about ready to hire a guy. He said, will you talk to him? And I said, sure, I'll talk to him. Is he going to come to the Final Four? Because I'm going to be there. And he said, if you'll talk to him, I'll send him. So he came, and we talked, and it didn't take 15 minutes for me to know that I wanted to hire him. He, he was a great player, a great teacher, but he, he can take kids – that don't want to learn and you can leave him with them for a while and they want to learn. After all these years of coaching, you had such an impressive record there at Pittsburgh State and just a successful career overall no matter where you've been, but what is your favorite part about coaching the game of basketball? You know, it's, I'm going to tell you the same thing that every old coach tells you, uh, but it's true. It's the relationship you, you make with your kids, with your players. and. Um, I, in fact, I was just showing uh, one of the, the gals out there that, that's going into the Hall of Fame was, was playing at Pittsburgh State when I was there. And Oscar Gonzalez came right after I got there, and she and Oscar were close. And I showed her pictures of Oscar's three-year-old little girl. I guess she's five now. And, uh, I mean, th things like that just blow you away. Oscar called me today from Spain and uh, just said congratulations and things like that. Those kind of guys and, and guys that, you know, I can go down the list and name you a whole lot. Some of them came from great places and continue to be great people. A whole lot of them came from places that you and I wouldn't get out of and, and became not just good players but good people. That's what's important. Well, Coach, it's such an honor to have you here tonight. We're so happy and excited for you being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Very much deserved. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.